Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be shooting a POV around the streets of Budapest. I'm going to be taking the Sony a7 IV, the Sony 16-35 G Master Lens, the 7200, and the Sigma 85mm lens. We've got a lot of places to explore today, and of course, at the end of the video, we're going to be having a look through the hashtag CP photos. So uh, let's get onto the streets and let's start creating. All right, guys, here we are. This is where we're starting today's first POV and we have got this amazing shot right here. What a leading line this is. Um, so I've got the 70 to 200 Mark II on, the A7 IV of course, and look at this. I'm gonna punch in at about 135 mil. So I'm using 11,000 a second, F2A, ISO 100. Keep that nice and clean, be using ISO 100 most of the day and check out that shot right there. That is a way to start a POV, that is magical. I can't believe that is our first frame of the day. That looks so awesome right there. Okay, I just got a photograph right there of a one. Oh, that is such a nice, simple frame. That is some of the stuff we're going to try and go for today. I can't decide which spot is better because I love it all the way from the back. But then I also like it like this, like a bit more like in your face. It's not got as much like zoom to it. It's shot at 70, which is a real nice focal length. And I feel like it just brings your eye in more. Maybe because the buildings are also acting as a leading line as well. I don't know how much you can hear me, but I literally can't speak very loudly in here. But this place is amazing. Put it in a silent mode. Oh Jesus, look at this. Maybe that's not a good thing to say in a church. Sorry. I'm going to shoot this in 16 mil. 160 for a second F2A. That is amazing. This is going to be on the comp shot. Right, check out the composition on that. That is amazing. Such detail and everything. Another shot here, punched in at 35mm, focusing on the organs over there. 115 for a second. That looks really good. I like how the light is blooming. Okay, so I've made it to the top. I climbed the stairs, that was a mistake. I think I've left the church. I'm going to like a nuclear bunker or something like that because that looks like a missile. Look at this view guys, this view. Alright, let's get some bangers. F11, 100 for a second, ISO 100. Oh, absolutely spectacular. Oh, look at that. Yes, we've got a bit of the hustle and bustle of the cityscape. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yes! Get this shot at 16mm. Awesome. And then punch in to 35 and that looks really good as well so for this shot i'm going to take that shot right there f10 1160 for a second iso 100 i like that shot because we've got a couple of people left to frame just looking at this well absolutely breathtaking and spectacular view it's just wow i thought like this is a nice simple frame shooting with a 16 to 35 f2a bang yeah it's pretty cool pretty nice we're now heading towards uh, a marketplace. It's called Central Market. It looks massive inside. And that might allow us to get some really cool wide shots, but I don't know if we'll be able to get any photos of people as well. We'll see what we can do with that. So yeah, might either just jump straight there or might take some photos on the way. We'll see what occurs. This is a nice shot right here. Really cool shot, like that. Nice framing on it as well. Subjects is looking really cool. Nice bike. Grabbing this shot here. I kind of like the framing in this shot. Focusing on the building, 1-800 for a second, F28. ISO 200, can bring that down to 100. And then get another shot, just like so. Boom, that was looking really nice. All right, jump in here. Get a photograph of this gentleman right here. As he's just chilling, having a smoke and that is a good sharp photograph. All right, for this shot, I'm shooting at 16,000 for a second, F2A, ISO 100. Liking the framing at 200 mil with that shot right there. All right, this shot right here, lovely architecture, beautiful sky, F2A, ISO 100, 1, 1,250 for a second, bang. How is that? Ooh, gnarly. Right, let's finally get our way to really Liberty Bridge. Still got so much to do in today's POV. All right, so we're at the indoor market and check out this place. This is humongous. And look at that wide shot we've just got. I'm shooting on 160 a second F2A ISO 400. And that's 
pretty good. I've just stopped on a 70 to 200 because I've just seen a 200 mil shot, which is going to look great. Look at this. Look at all the people all the way down there. The hustle and bustle, the busyness of it, that looks so good. So I've decided whilst I'm in this really cool marketplace to put on a cine bloom filter. Now what this does is it blooms the highlights, really makes them pop and stand out. See if we can get a photo of this gentleman right here, 35 millet. Look at the highlights. Look at the highlights on that image. The roll off is amazing. That is stunning. I really vibe the aesthetic this is going to give us. So this is going to open some good opportunities. Let's see if we can get a photograph of this gentleman right here. 35 mil, boom. Got him right there. Awesome. Add a bit of a foreground as well to that image, which is kind of nice. Can always punch in a little bit if I want to. I am having to use a bit of a higher ISO because of the uh, interior lighting in here isn't the best. Um, but maybe that just adds to the aesthetic. That's what we'll go with. Oh, look at that. That's a really cool wide shot right there. Oh, I like it. I really do like it. I vibe it a lot. This could be a cool shot here. Right, I'm going to switch it to a center focusing point. Right there. That is awesome. And get a portrait version of that as well. That's a really cool composite. Good uh, framing on the shot. The highlights blooming really nicely on that shot. This, this place is so good for photography. Oh, that's really nice. I like that as a backlit subject. It's not the most elegant kind of framing or the best shot, but I kind of like how that blooms with the highlights. Okay, so for the first time, whilst in Budapest, I have switched over to one of my favorite focal lengths with prime lenses, the 85 f14 all right now let's see what we can create with this i've taken up the cine bloom filter as well right there look at that f14 that is looking so sharp all right let's get a guy with a trolley that's good framing right there nice compression with the background superb oh superb eye focus picking up really well Okay, so we're now at the Liberty Bridge, which is going to look really good for some photos. So let's get the settings right, bring it down to ISO 100, shutter speed about there. Now I am going to visit this location during night and at sunset hopefully as well. So today we're probably not going to get the best photographs of trams and the bridge itself because the sunlight is super harsh, but we might be able to get a couple of things of trams for example. Oh, go, 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 go. Let's get a tour! Let's get a twofer! Yeah! <laughs> yes! That was awesome! Shot. I'm gonna get a zoomed in shot of this gentleman right here. And look at that. It's a decent solitude frame right there. Nice uh, compression shooting at 200 mil right there, looking pretty good. Oh, this is just always a win. And bring it out to 70 mil with the 70 to 200 and oh wallop wallop that person in the hat right there made for a really cool subject right yep oh that's nailed that is nailed right there i like that one that frame right there on screen definitely my favorite from the bunch all right we got one shot there how did that turn out you know what i think that was a pretty good frame actually i like it in landscape and having this guy right here in the bottom of frame actually i kind of uh, like the aesthetic that gave look at that land Rover right there that's cool that is a sweet ride right there there's a gentleman that's standing right there oh i like that solitude frame right there we need someone walking through this frame okay now let's get the cyclist <laughs> that, that right there is such a good frame Oh, that is so good. Let's get a one in landscape. Yes, there we go. How about that? Okay, this is a fun angle to play with. Oh, tram. Oh, I love those trams. They're so good. So I switched to the uh, Sony 16 to 35 mil lens. I've got a verbal ND filter on. I'm going to try and do a padding shot right here, but there is vehicles here. Let's give it a go, nevertheless. Okay, how was that for a first attempt? 
Oh, he got one really good shot right there. Oh, look at that. That was shot at 130 of FA ISO 100. And that one right there on screen was my favourite from the bunch. I would like to try that one more time, actually. We've got this. We've got this. We've got this. No traffic. 115 for a second. This might be too slow. Uh, I don't know. Oh, please say I got something there. Oh, yes. Yes, that one right there. That one at 115 for a second. I can see the driver. He is tack sharp. And that is the frame we got from that. I have to try that at sunset as well. All right, let's move to the next location. Okay, 70 to 200. Trams. Let's see what we can get. Already an absolute banger. Woo! There we go. Oh, we got two here. Let's see what we can get. Um there oh look at that with the compressed background with all the greens the yellows and the greens such good contrasting colors get a photo of this tram right here and get a photo of that tram chilling right there that is superb stuff superb and if we get a photo of the tram driver there we go just snagged a good photograph right there Oh, it's so good. I love this 70 to 200. I want to try a shot here. I'm going to be quite zoomed in with the uh, 70 to 200. But I want to try and get just the front of a tram and then a part of the bridge in the shot. So just got to wait for a second. Like, if I can get it there, that'll look pretty good. How about that? Oh, I kind of vibe that, you know. Having the bridge in focus, but the tram not. That gave us suit a little bit different and uh, I will take that. So I've just currently stopped at this location right here. Look how magnificent this looks with this bridge. You can get a really good vantage point from up there. But before we do that, I'm gonna get a quick shot of this right here. This wonderful landscape view. Shoot it in portrait and then get a landscape version as well. Punch in for the landscape version so we're avoiding getting the lamppost in. Uh, one free uh 200 for a second so 1320 for a second curtis f2a iso 100 boom how oh that looks really nice 70 to 200 coming in clutch i'm going to quickly as well just get a very creative shot here using this pillar here as a framic element and put it right oh, there right there because we've still got oh wow look at that that is good that is good that is pen oh yes right getting some more of those creative frames let's frame up it oh <laughs> look at this see bro oh one two thousand of a second f28 let's bring that up we don't need it so low and let's go for one three twenty for a second iso 100 fish bash bosh get it at 70 get it at 200 and get it somewhere in the middle oh, <laughs> oh man i actually like the 70 i think the 71 is a good one there this is a place for night photography as long as it's not sketchy okay, so i've been crawling up that hill for ages yes i did just do a kate bush joke about running up that hill but so far we're getting amazing results. I'm going to punch it at 200 mil to, that's um, where we started today's POV, St. Stephen's. And that is the shot we got right there. Okay, so I, I can't actually get to where I want to be for my next location because all of this is under construction. But I was able to find this sketchy ass path and get to here. And well, these are kind of the results I was wanting. So uh, let's make some magic happen. Another shot here of Liberty Bridge using a bit of foreground elements bringing our attention to the main subject of the frame that looks really nice and then just get another perspective shot like that okay so outside Bridge Castle I need a drink I need to find some of some water but we have got this shot right here which is gonna look really good if we can get it nice and clean with nothing in it and I think we just did that right there looks pretty good no people no uh, vehicles okay this is going to be a really nice shot right here i'm going to punch in at 200 mil bring it down to f2.8 iso 100 look at the church right there that looks really nice you know what we could throw a gradient filter on that as well bring a bit more sunlight and make it a bit more warmer from the right to the left another shot right here the parliament building 
bang. We're getting too many of that. I feel like it's becoming a constant feature, but look at it. It's like amazing architecture. Oh, it, it, this is getting even better. I've got an F4 for the shot. Look at that. Now that is some framing right there. So for this shot, this looks really cool. Look at the harsh lighting down here. That is a really nice frame just wrapped off right there. So here's a really cool frame shot. Using this, there's a bit of foreground right there. Bringing up the shutter speed to 1 500 for a second. I have got a polarizer on, which is making the sky look top notch. Banging that shot out right there. And that is nice. It's all about just finding unique frames with places. You know, I could take a real easy front on shot of it, but where's the creativity within that? You know, it might be nice just to have for your own personal collection. But when you're doing photography, you want to try and find those unique frames, perspectives. This frame right here, that's pretty cool. I mean, the highlights are blown out because I'm shooting towards the sun. But there's just one single person throughout that whole frame. And I've just had another idea for a shot. If we frame it up about there, that looks amazing. Quickly get one more before that person goes through. Brilliant. Thank you. I uh, was shooting that at 1640 for a second, F2A, ISO 100. Very kind of that very lovely woman to wait for me to get that frame and you know what? Looks grand. Okay, next shot is going to be 16. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, that at 16 mil is a bit spectacular. So bring up the F-stop to about F7.9, no, bring it up to F11. We have the shutter speed. And then I bring it down to 1.30 for a second shutter speed. And that, we zoom in, is very sharp thanks to five axis of in-body stabilization. And that is a really good, creative, and just eye-catching frame. Okay, so for this frame here, I just want to get someone against a wall. Yes, just like that. Look at the shadow as well. There's a bit of street photography for you. All right, check out this classic Mercedes we got going on here. What the fuck? Okay, um, what can we grab of this? Right, I'm gonna switch it to a center focusing point. I'm gonna bring up the shutter speed. I'm gonna bring up the aperture because we're shooting a car to about F3.5. Bring down the shutter speed to accommodate for that and get that shot right there. Okay, this is the angle. F2.5, 1320, ISO 80. Oh, oh, we could throw such a sick edit on that. It's unbelievable. Oh, that frame right there. Oh, that is clean. I've got to say, the streets around here are beautifully and clean. Okay, we can get some really pretty shots of this building here. Um, I don't know if it's a cathedral, a castle. I'm just saying really pretty building and that usually suffices in budapest because there's a lot of buildings here have a lovely amount of charm really famous photo spot i think i'm gonna come here and sunrise if i can i want to try and get up early to get this shot because that looks great but imagine it with people without people it look amazing okay i do like these lights right here these like traffic lights i'm just gonna get a shot of them 200 mil bang like that that looks pretty good right there. I like the uh, green background on them as well. All right, let's punch this shit. Let's get 200 mil on the table right there. Bring up the ISO. Oh, hit the sunlight and oh, that right there. I had to quickly adjust the shutter speed because of that sunlight, but that worked to perfection. I'm gonna go super low down to the ground for the shot. Oh, that is what we needed. Super low down to the ground. So here is the shot I wanted. I'm going to switch quickly to a center focusing point. Bring the camera a little bit further down and we've got the tram in shot. And we have the bush in shot as well. I think we're able to get the shot I wanted right there. Uh, that looks pretty good. I think I blew up the highlights a little bit too much, but they might be recoverable, but it took me five minutes to wait for that one. So I don't really want to wait again. Okay. I think this might actually be the last shot of today's POV, but look at that shot. 
right there. Holy <laughs> god damn, that is where I'm leaving today's POV because that is a high note right there. That is absolutely spectacular. What I've done is I've made a makeshift tripod. I've got my uh, wallet here uh, and then I've got the camera set up with the uh, Sony 16 to 35. I'm at four seconds F22 ISO 50. Now I'm going to set it to a two second timer. So when I press the button, it will take a photo two seconds after to avoid any shake and hopefully that is going to give me the result i want please come on come on oh <laughs> yes that is on my memory card that is my photo now oh that is looking good oh jesus i cannot believe that is on my camera so the last thing to do today in the pov is have a look through the hashtag cp photos and see what you guys have been creating let's go okay so that was a, a lot of adventuring i don't know how long this video has ended up being but hopefully you have stuck around to the end we will be having a look for the hashtag in a few moments time i have uh, bought two hats both say budapest on i couldn't decide which one i wanted so i bought both of them um you know what maybe i should make that my tradition you know what like some like youtubers get like tattoos or some of them i don't know some of them collect knickknacks or stickers or something like that. Maybe I should collect hats. Maybe should that be my thing? Like I go to different countries and I buy a hat from it. Yes, yes, we are doing it. And the rule is, it has to say the name of the city or the country on it. But anyway, let me throw a screen recorder on and let's jump into the hashtag CP photos. And let's start with recent. Let's go and have a look around here. So the first one we have got is by Inner Streets. This is Manchester. This is a classic frame right here. I love the composite right here. Real nice framing as well. Great leading lines as well. You've got kind of like a frame within a frame and also leading lines as well. It's a win-win right there. Love that. This black and white shot by CJ Leeson, 83. Really like the black and white. Real like the um, shadow work on this one. We've got some really creative like reflection works here by MC Visuals. That is really cool. Love what you've done there with the reflections. Really well executed. Great shot right there. Uh, this one right here of the Jaguar F-Type by Abstract Cars. Real nice composite right there. Really like what you've done with the shot. Maybe, I don't know, maybe go a little bit further down next time. I don't know. That might have just been me personally, but I think nevertheless, a really cool shot right here and a beauty of a car. Let's have a look at a female. Oh, wow. This is St. Paul's Cathedral by Elwick Photography. Very similar uh, in terms of aesthetics to the place we visited at the beginning of today's POV. Absolutely beautiful place. The architecture, the color, and all those ring true for this photograph right here. Amazing shot. And I love that you've got no one in it as well. So it's really nice and like open, quiet, and just shows a bit of remoteness. To the frame we've got this real nice coastal shot by remy k real nice colors on this shot real like the composite that you've done with this frame as well really well executed really like what we've got there oh we've got a tram we have to have a look at a tram this one is from nicholas hey prague has trams i did not know that now i do know that and i like the look of those uh, trams i am planning on going to prague i was actually going to go to prague instead of budapest but the weather on the week I was looking at going was all rain apparently in Prague. Whilst in Budapest, even though we did get rain, it was a lot more warmer weather than rainy weather. But Nicholas, great shot right here. Like the composite on it and hopefully I will be in Prague in the next few months or so because I really want to venture around those beautiful streets. A massive thanks and shout out to everyone continuing to use the hashtag CP photos over on Instagram. It's always great to be able to share your work here on the channel. But that is where I'm going to be leaving today's potentially quite a long POV. But hopefully you've stuck around to the end and you have enjoyed every minute of it. But until next time guys, keep creating and I'll see you in the next one. Later.